Hey, Stevens Creek, I'm Adrian Mendoza. And I'm Heidi Andrews. And we have your announcements. But first, please stand for the pledge, followed by the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you're interested in the Earth and Science Club, please see Ms. Burkhoffer in room 617 for a registration form. Locker rentals for all grades in the Creekside Bank. Please get the locker number and the serial number off the lock. Registration for the 2019 Europe trip is underway. If you need more information, see Ms. LaDuke or Dr. Risto. The prices will only go up starting September 1st, and there are only 36 seats available, so make sure you sign up today. We have a special price on yearbooks until September 1st. Please bring, a cash, please bring cash or check to Ms. Meadows' room in 105. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your senior quotes to your English teachers by September 1st. Host applications are due by September 1st to Walker, Smith, or Spears in the Green Hall. Freshmen, your class t-shirts are on sale for $10 in the Hawk's Nest. Make sure you get them. Senior class shirts can be ordered for $15 during your lunch period. If you usually get your lunch from the coffee shop, make sure to make different plans because they will be closed today. If you need a parking pass, please stop by the red table during your lunch period to get an info sheet. MTSU will be hosting Rutherford County's annual college fair on Wednesday, September 6th from 6 to 8 in the Student Union Ballroom. Go to collegefairs.com and see your counselor for more information. The bowling team will have tryouts on Tuesday, August 29th from 4 to 5.30 at the Smyrna Bowling Center. Bowlers from last year do not need a tryout. All bowlers will need to fill out an athletic packet including a physical before they are allowed to try out or participate in practices. All athletic forms are available at creekathletics.com. Please see Coach Smith in 123 or Coach Strickland in 505 with any questions. The first home game of the year is tonight against Antioch at 7 p.m. You can get tickets for $6 in the Creekside Bank or $7 at the gate. Now let's go to Ariel Noll. Over the years, our state's greatest coaches have been honored with a spot in the Tennessee Football Coaches Hall of Fame. Our very own David Martin, head coach of the football team, is being honored among these outstanding coaches. Well, it's quite an honor. It's voted on by the coaches across the state, and uh, to to be inducted from your uh, vote of your peers, I think, is very very humbling, and and it's quite an honor uh, that they understand what you go through and what the challenges are every day. He is being inducted alongside Ricky Bowers from Innsworth, David Meskey from Knoxville, Bobby Sharp from Lewis County, and Joris Corals from Maryville. I was encouraged by a coach that I, Coach Dunn, actually, that, uh, that I did my student teaching with, and he kept encouraging me to go into coaching and wanted me to, he said, you would like it, you would enjoy it, whatever, and uh, so I ended up getting started and uh, just fell in love with it. Coach Martin has a 228 to 122 overall coaching record as the head coach at four different stops, starting at Columbia Academy in 1989, then on to Westmoreland from 1990 to 1991, then to Good Pasture from 1992 to 2012, and now on to Stewart's Creek from 2013 to the present. He has won three Class 2A state titles and has played in eight title games. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the reason why we chose Stewart's Creek High School was uh, one of the reasons why was the fact that Coach Martin was the head football coach. We knew our son was going to be playing football here, and I looked forward to being on staff. And so I did my research and found out, hey, David Martin, this is what he's all about. Certainly the winning, but also the character development, those things. And so uh, we work very closely together. Teens have made 24 playoff appearances under Martin, 22 straight trips to Good Pasture, and now here at 2016 we are making an appearance. Um, well, if you take a step back and you look at, beyond the success on the field, you look at the success in the men that he's helped develop. And, you know, that's, that's the big picture right there. It's great to win championships. Everybody wants to win them. Uh, no one wants to be a loser. And uh, so don't be a loser. But uh, anyway, uh, the, the, the biggest thing is, is I get to see the relationship that he has with his former players. He's always taught me to keep a really positive attitude in everything I'm doing. It's... His outlook is always, if you're going to do something, you need to do it right, and it's to get yourself better. And that's helped me a lot, not only on the football field, just in the classroom too, just anytime I'm doing anything related to classwork, just always thinking about it, not it's just something I'm doing just for right now, it's something that I can keep for the rest of my life. So from all of us here at Stewart's Creek, congratulations, Coach Martin, and we're looking forward to a great season. Reporting from SCTV, I'm Avril Knoll.
Remember, guys, we are on Pep Rally schedule today. And that's it for today's announcement, Stewart's Creek. Remember, we are one, one team. team.